Hello everybody, welcome to my first new LP of the year and the first LP of this little Wii U retrospective. Let's play Sonic Lost World. Let's do it. I, okay, double tap. Oh my god. Uh, hopefully this won't take too long. All right, so finally I can get to the game. I need to retrain myself that games, at least for the, like, uh, Wii U and PS4 and PS3 and all that junk, actually need to install first. The Switch kind of spoiled me on that. Also, apparently this does not have Pro Controller support. <laughs> well, that's lovely. Oh wow, that was a plain intro. <laughs> okay, I was expecting a little more there. All right, got my gamepad here. Kind of ridiculous that I absolutely need the gamepad for this and it kind of restricted me to only using the touchpad to access, well, navigate that menu, but eh, it is what it is, I guess. The pitfalls of going into a game completely blind. I'm sorry, the Lost Hex? For a second there, it looked like a Settlers of Catan game board. Alright, so Windy Hill, Zone 1. Oh my god, the gamepad. Is there a way I can show this? I'm going to assume no. Okay, so there's no way I can show what's on the gamepad right now outside of taking a picture with my phone and I'm not about that life. Come on. I'm going to be a little more professional than that. I say as I started this game up completely blind and forgot that games of this generation need to install. But anyway, it's not much. It's just essentially a map of the level we're on, only it's not detailed at all. It just kind of shows our general direction, like where we are compared to the goal. So, yeah, standard stuff. Anyway, let's roll. So, I know literally nothing about this game. I actually have to tap the gamepad to get the hints. Okay, already off to an amazing start. Press B to jump, hold B down longer to jump. Thank you, game. Oh, wow. The homing attack is pretty automatic. Okay, this feels weird. <laughs> move while holding ZR to dash. You can move much faster than usual this way. 
well, I'm just too busy homing in on people. And then, okay, that's how we... Oh my god, this is very disorienting. Okay. Anyway, yeah, we can run. I know it's kind of messed up that Sonic has a run button, but... Eh. They wanted to try something new. Okay. You won't lose a life when you take damage as long as you have at least one ring. Thank you for telling me basic Sonic information. Oh my god, seeing one of these in 3D. It's disorienting. But we will do well. So yeah, this is my first time actually playing this. I know literally nothing about it. Uh, wait, they want to tell me something new. Uh, good things will happen if you collect red star rings are scattered through the zones, so be sure to keep an eye out for them. Yeah, okay, I'll try my best. Um, but all I did was like play a demo of this some years ago at Target. That was essentially it. And I enjoyed what little I played, though it just seemed weird because Sonic has a run button and they really tried to jock off of Mario Galaxy with this. And I pass through the star pulse, you will restart here if you lose a life. Thank you. I mean, this is literally Super Mario Galaxy with parkour. Because that was something they were really excited for with this game. Like, oh yeah, Sonic can do parkour now. And I mean, I guess that's a neat concept. As you run at high speeds, keep moving in the direction you want to go, and you can leap over small ledges or run along walls. At these times, Sonic will flash. Press B when this happens to perform a special action. Give it a try in different situations. Okay. I'm trying. Okay, well, he wasn't flashing there. Oh my god, this is disorienting. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how the beginning of Mario Galaxy was, too, until you sort of get used to it. Oh yeah, and I forgot, this game also has wisps, because... Just because. I mean, I like... Whatchamacallit? Ah, crap. Sonic Colors, but... Let the Wisps die already. They don't need to be in every game. I'm just saying. Holy crap, this is just messing with my brain. Eh, wow, that was awful. And yeah, this game got... Pretty middling reviews. I heard mixed things about it from different people. Because I remember, like, there was one review that was kind of infamous. Where, like, the reviewer gave it up. Oh, crap. Like, a pretty bad score. It was like, Sonic moves so slow. Like, it doesn't even make sense how slow he moves. And then people found out, like, wait, the reviewer. Crap didn't even know how to run. Come on. There we go. Okay. Wow, we are almost done with this stage. Okay. But, yeah. Like, he reviewed the game without knowing how to run. That's kind of messed up, especially since the game just told me how to run right there, you know, with ZR. Uh, when you reach the goal, try to jump on the capsule from a great distance. The further away you are, the more bonuses you will receive. Where's the capsule? Oh, right there. Oh, that was not a good jump. Let's get some momentum here. And I'm sorry I didn't use you, Wisp. There's always next time. I will get this from a great distance, darn it. Come on. Yeah, fine, whatever. Oh my god, what? Thank you. Well, yeah, I did hear from some Sonic fans that it's not as bad as, like, many people made it out to be. Eh, I don't know. I guess it, this just came at a pretty bad time. Like, it came after Colors and Generations kind of set the bar really high. And this one was just okay. Sonic and Tails will get your buddies back. Sonic, did you get those animals back from Eggman? Uh... Just the one container he tossed off his Eggmobile. What? Wait a minute, just the one? <laughs> Weak. I would have gotten them all back by now. Save the rest of them. But oh, let me go. I hate to think what Eggman's doing to those yeah, poor things. I'm on it. Okay, so we're saving the animals. We would make 
AGDQ very upset. Oh wait, Super Metroid wasn't at AGDQ this year. I guess it's going to be a SGDQ event from now on. And there are now more zones to select from in two player race. Okay. How do you do two player in this? If they, well, okay. Let me look at the back of the case here, cause yeah, you can use Wiimote and Nunchuck. You can use Gamepad and you can use the classic controller that you hook up to the Wemo, but they don't let you use the Pro Controller. I'm pretty sure the Pro Controller came out when this game was out at whatever. Whisper away items travel via Miiverse, <laughs> not anymore, along with other players' Mii characters, nicknames, and their handwriting text messages. Would you like to receive these items? Might as well. It's not like I'm gonna get any. Miiverse is dead, unfortunately. Yep, see? <sighs> It's so sad. So sad. But that's why I'm so glad that Drastic Action has created the Miiverse Archive. It took me longer than I would like to admit to remember what his name was. Alright, so anyway, onward to Windy Hill Zone 2. Huh. Okay, well, I guess... Time attack opens up, obviously, after you... Yeah, okay. Settings. Okay, so in the settings, it's just item, wisp away, meverse, and ranking. Okay. Well, meverse has absolutely nothing to do with this game anymore, and ranking, I guess that's just standard fare. Like, oh, how well you did, and... Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Anyway, onward to Windy Hill Zone 2. Let's go. Crap. Okay, normal play. Thank you. Transformation 101. Bunnies to bad names. Boom! Instant army. It needs to be a big army if I'm taking over the world below. You are quite the mighty conqueror. Yes, yes I am. I conquered you, didn't I? And with your help, I'll not only rule the world, I'll finally destroy that blue nuisance, Sonic! Eggman wants the little hedgehog destroyed. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel I destroyed something. That's what I like about you, Zaz. Always ready for a fight, even before you know what you're fighting. <laughs> Well, I mean, that is a good trait to have. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting a sneak peek at the Deadly Six. The secondary protagonists of this? Not protagonists, antagonists of this game. Oh, and this game also switches between 3D and 2D? Okay. All right, I can get behind this. Oh, crap. All right. Wait, they want to tell me something. Save the animals by destroying Dr. Eggman's Batniks. See, the name Batniks doesn't really work when the dude's name is Eggman, I'm just saying. That's why he's better off known as Robotnik. Okay, that, that was amazing right there. Okay. Yeah, this does feel a bit weird. It's going to take me a minute to get used to this. Press B while jumping to perform a double jump. You'll come up out of your spin for the second jump, so you'll take damage if you hit an enemy. All right, got to be careful about that. But yeah, the momentum does seem a bit... Oh, I thought this would have been a gap. <laughs> well, they're making it nice for me to get this red ring. I'm doing a very excellent job at getting this red ring. What are you even talking about? And could have sworn I passed through it right there. Oh yeah, this parkour element is going to take, oh my god, really, a little while to get used to as well. Okay, I'm just not doing well at all. There we go. All right. I promise I'm not going to try and, like, get every crap. 
like every red ring like that. But I mean, if I see one, then I'll try to go for it. So I guess I have to actually tap the screen to use a wisp. Oh, wow. Tilt the Wii U gamepad in the direction you want to move. Okay. I am... Okay, this this is actually kind of horrible. <laughs> Alright, so, um... That went well. They really had to throw wisps into this game, huh? Yikes. Okay. It is what it is. Let's just go. Yep. Okay. I need to remember... Jump, homing attack, and parkour my way to victory. What is up with that thing in the background? If you continue to stay locked onto a single enemy, the cursor will lock on multiple times, allowing you to execute a stronger homing attack. Oh, I'm fighting Zaz. Okay. Already. We're fighting a member of the Deadly Six. Cool. Also, why Deadly Six? Sinister Six would have been a better name, though I think that might be copyrighted. Oh, okay. Do not touch him. And I'm dead. All right, well, that was amazing. Okay. I have to remember. Homing attack saves lives. Okay, let's do this again. I'm ready this time. Yeah, just do a little of that right there. Mm-hmm. So you're already down. Aha. Here we go. Get a little of that. And boom. Okay, I can hit this again. Oh wait, no, not not quite, not quite. He's mad, he's mad. No. Stars, why have you forsaken me? Oh, okay, and he's down again. You're not too tough. All right. Oh, he's down already, huh? That's it. That was a very short level. Huh? Okay, then. That ended very abruptly. Okay, all right, yeah, I... Can I turn off Miiverse in the settings? Because that's gonna be annoying. Okay, I made a horrible mistake by asking them to... Oh, wait, what? Mumble Chow has a request for me? Oh, this game has missions. Are these specific things per stage? He left before I could really gate. Oh wait, I can tap. Okay, so there's an Obo Chow icon on the gamepad, and it's not showing up on the actual TV. This is kind of a train wreck. Uh, so yeah, I have three missions: uh, collect 500 rings. You can never have enough. Spin dash for at least two seconds. Practice makes perfect. And in a single attack, use three or more lock ones to defeat one or more enemies. I feel like I already did that last one, but I hadn't talked to Obo Chow prior, so. Yeah. All right, well, onward to zone three. See what this is all about. Why not? These levels are actually pretty short. Okay, this looks cool. Oh. Ah, that wasn't quite three. There's only two. All righty then. They came up a little too fast on a brother. Here we go. All right, all right. I'm slowly getting the hang of things. This is nice. It's nice and fast, most definitely. Well, I mean, b before that happened. What are you going to do, buddy? Laser! Aim by sliding across the screen, then touch and hold Sonic and fire him with a quick swipe. Oh, no. 
what have I even done? That happened way too fast. But okay, I'm still alive. Ah. But for how long? Are these animals? That I can't... I will save you. Thank you. Okay, I see. This might actually... I mean, ugh. This is gonna be something that I'm gonna have to really be paying attention to in each level. My life flashed before my eyes there. So I gotta save as many animals as possible per stage, huh? I can do that. My god, everything's just coming up so fast. I'm dead. Or not. Okay, yeah, now I'm dead. All right, well, that's what we got lives for. Ugh. Just gotta pay attention to what's coming up. Don't panic. Maybe slow down a bit. There we go, okay. And we're running. Oh, wait. They wanna tell me something. Press Y while jumping to bounce. You can bounce up to three times in a row. The third time will result in a big jump. What? Oh my god, so we have the bubble shield bounce without the bubble shield. That's actually really cool. I like that. I appreciate that. Alrighty. I'm sure that'll come in handy, though. I'm sure I'll have to remember that. I guess I can use you again. Okay. I guess that was good. Oh, I wanted to get past that little goopy stuff. I'm not a fan of the Wisp powers. Like, right off the bat, not that big a fan. Okay, at least I can sort of aim a little. That, no, eh, yeah, fine, whatever, no. How do I? I'm flicking, but all it's doing is aiming. There we go, okay. Yeah, I am not feeling these wisp powers. But I am slowly getting the hang of it, I guess. Let's see. Wait, wait. I want those rings. Yeah, I got a few of them. Okay, whatever. Let's just try to beat this stage already. <laughs> rude. Rude! Rude! Okay, we're good. Okay. Oh, wait. That thing said spin dash for two seconds. Hopefully this is long enough for... Well, yeah, long enough stretch of road for two seconds of spin dashing. I shall wait for the giant spinning thing of death to go in now. I regret nothing! Okay. See, still alive. I'm like glad, oh, up it, oh my God. I take back everything I said about the parkour. Oh man, that saved my life. Yeah, no, n none of that right now. Come on. All right, not today, not today. What in the world? That's a bell. For whom the bell tolls, does it toll for Sonic's career? Hopefully not, ah crap. Well, Sonic Mania did well to bring Sonic back to good graces with everybody. And then forces had to come out and ruin that. Uh, ah, okay. Let's keep going. No, 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 no. Ah. Must get out of the way. Ah. I try. Where am I?
Okay, let's actually use the wisp this time. Why not? That worked out so well. What are you even talking about? I live! I live! Oh god, no. Haha, <laughs> put the jukes to the giant rock. Ah. Not to. Oh my god. These rocks, though. Alright, we're good. I'm sorry. Oh. I knew they wanted me to do that. Oh, and we're done. I mean, I'm kind of used to giant gold rings, so just seeing these capsules that would usually come at the end of boss fights in the OG Sonic games, it, it, it's kind of a... It, it's kind of a culture shock for me. I'm not used to it. I'm not expecting it. Ooh, okay. What, what, what did I just unlock? Are they even gonna tell me? I guess not. Yeah, this is gonna get old fast. I wonder if I can just turn that off in like the actual like Wii U settings. Hopefully I can. Oh, and I guess you can just move on to different things on this overworld and collect stuff. Oh, okay. And what are you? It's not letting me do anything despite having... Unless it means I need one more red ring. Possibly. Alright. What's happening, Omo Chow? The same old, same old. Oh no, okay, you replace old missions with new ones. All right, cool. Eh, why not? Let's go ahead and just complete Windy Hill. Hey, I've been looking for you, Baldy McNose Hair. Who are your friends? <sighs> friends? These are nobody's friends. They are the Deadly Six, and they are your worst enemies. Jazz, show this blue pest how you do things up here. <laughs> With pleasure, I've been itching for a fight all day. <laughs> I think you're itching because you need a bath. Huh? Are you disrespecting me? Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna mess you up. I'd love to stay and watch him disassemble you, but I have business to attend to. There's really no need to keep the rest of the Deadly Six as silhouettes, but eh, I guess they want to build some kind of intrigue. And so far I'm liking the writing of the game. It's cool. Reminds me a little of Sonic Unleashed and whatchamacallit, Colors, and Generations. I just like it when Sonic doesn't take itself seriously at all. Crap. Okay, I am taking this very slow, and we're off. But yeah, I prefer... Wow. I, I prefer not to die, you know, th that too. But yeah, I prefer when Sonic doesn't take itself seriously at all. That's why I can't really get into, like, some certain Sonic games because... It's just a little too cr 
cringy slash edge lord for me. Wow, that was very rude. Yeah, I like the happy-go-lucky stories with the funny writing. I like those more so than like, oh, uh, the ultimate life form has been resurrected and is going to destroy everybody on Earth. I think that was the story for <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2. I could be wrong. I, but I think, crap. Shadow was supposed to be like the ultimate life form or something. So there's that. But yeah, like Sonic Colors, they were essentially just trying to stop Robotnik from creating a theme park on an alien planet. I am just messing up right there. Like, wow, what's really going on? Yeah, I prefer that story to like the more like edgy things. It's, I, don't, I just feel Sonic is supposed to be more about like the fun aspect, like not trying to be all serious and everything. Cause even the original games, like Robotnik wasn't trying to destroy the world or anything. He was just like deforestation and all that junk, just trying to get the uh, Chaos Emeralds. Okay, well, granted, I guess his end goal probably was to, like, take over the world, but not actually bring upon, like, a great cataclysm that would murder everyone and everything. At least I think so. It's just mind control, maybe, if that's what he wanted, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep going. There we go. Yeah, save some animals. Why not? God, this is so weird, and I'm just running into everything, and I apologize. Ugh. It's gonna be a learning experience. It is going to be a learning experience. I'm still alive. I am GLaDOS up in this piece. Ugh. This is frightening. This is very frightening. Let's just start over. Um, come on. Uh, please. Thank you. See, when you ask nicely. And we live. Okay. I am on edge with like almost every single jump I'm going for here. This is not a way to live your life. That is a red ring I shall not be obtaining. Oh god, no! Seriously. Okay then. Let's go. I'll hold that L. Yep. Jump. Jump! Okay, we're good. I should have held on a little longer. Where they want me? Ah, oh, they're switching it up. This is literally, literally Mario Galaxy. Like, unabashedly so. We just changed the gravity up in this piece. Whatever. Let's just keep on going. Yeah, not today. All right. See? Piece of cake. What was I even afraid of? Oh, no. Hits. We're good. Things happening too fast. I guess I should be ready for that. This is Sonic, after all. The goal is to move fast. What am I looking at here? Some animals that need to be saved, of course. All right, yeah, we'll just skip all that. Why not? I live. Okay. Am I fighting this dude now? Ooh. I like this. 
how is he outrunning Sonic, though? Well, I guess I could say the same about every single 2D Sonic game where Robotnik would run away from you and he was somehow faster than you, the fastest being on the planet. Sonic games are weird like that. Oh, God. Oh, that's a life I will not be getting. I'm alive. I, I tried to jump into it. That was not a good idea. So I guess I want to avoid that and then do a little of that. Okay. All right. This is simple enough. That, that, that was poor. So I need to be very careful now. So he's probably going to roll this one. No. Okay. And we're done. Wow. Very anticlimactic. There's going to be a boss rush, isn't there? Like the fact that he's not fully defeated. There's probably going to be a boss rush. I'm predicting one right now. All right. We good to go or what, Tails? Hmm. I built a TV out of paper clips. Yeah. And reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. I know. So look, fixing a propeller on a biplane, that's about as difficult as taking a nap. Okay. considering how often it breaks down, he should be used to it by now. Okay, well then, let's see what this circus is all about before we end things off, I guess. Oh, it's a mini game, okay. That I control entirely with the gamepad. I'm already screwing up. Okay. I'm used to this. I play DX Ball, I play Breakout. I can do this. There is so many things on screen though. All right, let's try this one more time. I don't know what I accomplished by doing this. I guess bragging rights. See, sometimes it's hard to distinguish Sonic from the animals that he's saving. Like, visual overload right there. All right. So, that was Windy Hill. I guess next time we'll do Desert Ruins. One world per video, huh? Okay. It is what it is. So far I am enjoying this though. I don't hate it so far. Like I said, it is gonna take a little time to get used to the fact that you actually have to run with Sonic, like actually hold down a run button. But aside from that, I'm liking it. I don't hate it so far. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Next time we take on Desert Ruins. Oh, and one more thing. This game also has DLC. I will be taking a look at the DLC uh, after the main game. Uh, there was a like special thing to... What's the word I'm looking for here? Um... Cross promotion, there we go. I don't know why it took me so long to think of that, but yeah, the two special DLC zones for this game, one is based off of Yoshi's Woolly World and the other is based off of Zelda, I believe. Uh, they weren't really promoting a particular game, just the Zelda series. But yeah, I'll be taking a look at those after the main game, I guess. And there was also another bit of DLC called the Nightmare Zone. However, you could only get that when you pre-ordered this game. Yeah. Need the special Deadly Six edition. Well, like they say like you had to pre-order that, but then I think they had so many copies of that left over, they just started selling the Deadly Six edition on its own, and you can actually like buy that on 
eBay or if you're lucky, Amazon. And I think the code still works even though it had an expiration date. Oh no, I saw mixed things about that on some forums I looked through. But yeah, like if you were not lucky enough to have the Deadly Six edition of this game, you cannot access the Nightmare Zone DLC, which was like a little special cross promotional thing with Nights into Dreams. So yeah, good job, Sega. Good job. However, the Steam version of this game actually does have the Nightmare Zone DLC included, like right off the bat. So that's good. So yeah, if you ever want to encounter that DLC, buy this game on Steam and not the Wii U, I guess. So yeah, next time, Desert Ruins. Thank you all for watching, have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play Sonic Lost World. Goodbye.